Welcome back to uh, Reverend Big John's Backyard Fishing. We are on Lake Lanier in the uh, Murray Alice Park. And uh, just hitting it real quick. Just got down to Georgia. Let's see um, what's happening here. So far, there's nothing really going on. So, just was throwing real quick, wanting to see. I don't know nothing about this body of water, but uh, I'm just out exploring. Uh, I'll try to get out tomorrow morning and uh, see if anything is happening in the area. And uh, we'll take it from there. So just want to let y'all know that I am back in Georgia. Um, I will see you guys in the morning and uh, we'll see if we can't um, strike up some big boys. I know they got spotted bass up in here, but let's see what else we can possibly get. Hey, Mr. Reverend Big John, always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back. Reverend Big John's Backyard Fishing. Uh, today we are on a little private golf pond in uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Yesterday I was at uh, Lake Lanier and I was gonna hit that, but uh, fishing it real briefly, I just noticed that um, there was no cover around there and uh, I'm not used to fishing that clear straight water and there's no cover and you don't know anything about the fish or where the fish may be, so came back to a little golf pond to see if I could do better than I, I did in July when I came. And also, I'll go to the um, local bait shop and I ask some questions about shore fishing for Lake Lanier. One of the things that you don't want to do is just spin your wheels out there fishing in a place where you're not going to get any fish or any catches or anything of that nature. So until you get some expertise that can tell you you know, where the fish are. Two fish from shore, because in those deep reservoirs, a lot of times you gotta know, you know, where they are and how they fish. And right now, I know neither one of those, because I've never fished Lake Lanier. So, it is what it is, we'll try this little pond. If I can't get a pickup, like I said, I know it's decent sized fish up in here. The problem is, there's so many bags. Um, can you get them to hit? You know, especially in the, the latter part of summer where the water is the hottest. So I'm out here early trying to see if I can't find that early bite. And you see all the stuff I got to pull it through. So, here we are, back again. Let's see if we can have a better time than we did last time. Now, I pulled at least a three pounder out of here before. So like I said, I know they're here, just a matter of what they're gonna be willing to hit. Fish. Well, 
think I'll for sure. Now let's see if we can increase. It's an aquarium bass right there. Thank you, sir. Let me try this here, uh, jerk bait. trouble. Come help him out. Yee, fishy, fishy. Man, I'm looking for a sudden stop of the line, a pulse, a bam, a hit. Somebody's looking at that thing. Heart pounding. Boom! Mm, nice reaction strike when it hit the surface. Right now, I'm playing with it up top. Just kind of making it shimmer and shake and look like it's injured. Trying to see if anything's willing to hit that sucker. Dancing it. It's a wolf pack of bass right around it. They all small. Don't be wolf packing if y'all ain't gonna come out there and hit that thing. But they ain't hitting it. Don't hit it. See how big or how small you are. I know you ain't that big because I'm looking at you. messing around with them right now. That's how you get lost in time and don't be productive. Trying to get bass to hit that you see versus worrying about those ones you don't see. We're looking for a meal because I don't these guys, they playing. And if they wasn't, they would have hit it already. Gotta be careful out here in GA. Fire ant patrol out here. Fire ant to tear you up. You ain't paying no attention. You stand on the mound. You gonna learn today. You can tie the biggest Sanko blue black 
Let's get it out there. Let's see if it can produce what I need for it to produce as a big boy. Maybe something looking for a bigger, bigger morsel, bigger snack. We're just going to let it sink all the way to the bottom, nice and slow. Man, if I lived here, I'd probably put my kayak out. I'm telling y'all, I know y'all can't see it now, but I've seen some big ones in here. Summers, I would think that early morning bite would be crucial. They're gonna be like, how you gonna come in here and tell me when I need to eat breakfast? It's my house, this ain't your house. All right, well, I'm just saying, it is breakfast time. Brother came a long way from Maryland. Down here to, uh, Support my big bro. We say that the Lord has called him to uh, start a church. So, if the Lord has called you, then that church will be successful. If the Lord ain't called you, then just you. That will show as well. Ministry, it's not about us, man. I think that's the biggest most thing most people have to understand. When you become a pastor, it's not about what you think or what you see. You know, it's about what God thinks and what God sees. You know, we, we don't do things because we, you know, here to be recognized and things that, well, true preachers. <laughs> you know, today's society, everybody want to be recognized and a lot of pomp and circumstance, but the reality is that when you become a pastor, because God has called you, or even into ministry, it's a thankless job, man. Um, a lot of times you do stuff just because the Lord laid it on your heart. You don't do it because you want reciprocation or anything else like that. If you do, you in the wrong business because the same people that you help you know, that you love, that you take care of, that you counsel, they will leave you so fast, <laughs> it don't make any sense. And they won't even tell you, they just disappear. And you'd be like, man, after all I did, I didn't help, I just helped save your marriage, I, you know, got your kids together, prayed for you, came to, you know, the funerals when you, you know, I'm telling you, man, all that stuff you do, you can't do it because you're looking for reciprocation or reciprocity. You got to do it because it's what the Lord wants you to do. Your thank yous and your rewards and your pat on the back and all that stuff, that comes from Him. So remember, this ain't about you. This journey is never about the individual. It's about the whole body of Christ. If you remember that, you'll be successful you'll be less disappointed when things don't come back your way. And for goodness sake, please don't keep an account or a record of who you didn't help, what you did, so that when something comes, you can throw it back up in their face and say, well, I remember when I did this and when I did that? Uh, that's life, maybe. That's not ministry. So, we want to pray for him, keep him praying, pray that the Lord is truly, um, called them into this assignment, you know, because it's not an easy one. Don't let these uh, TV preachers fool you. That is not the norm. Not of them suspect. But that's a whole nother show for a whole nother episode. 
All right, let's get back to some more fishing here. Come on, y'all. I got to find out what they want, so I'm about to switch again. Probably go to a weighted, weighted uh, finesse worm and see if being down low going to get them there. I might even try a little top water. So we'll see. Got the old chatterbait on, trying to run that one, see if that'll work. Chatterbait with the uh, craw trailer. So I'm not seeing nothing coming in, chasing it. Maybe because of Crying, that's for sure. It ain't because of lack of effort. Some days, guys, it's just like this, man. You know, it's just frustrating. It is the summertime, and just trying to find what they hit. So I'm gonna go disappear and see if I can't find what they gonna hit. I didn't try everything. Well, not everything, but you know, I guess crank baits are next. But I'm trying to come through this sun and catch a flash, see if that'll trigger something. You know, you always like to catch while you're filming, but. That's not always possible. So I told y'all before, and I may have told you a thousand times, and you've heard it a thousand times. The name of the game is called fishing, not catching. If it was catching, everybody would be out here. Then it'd be boring. I don't know, finally got one to hit, of course. You ain't gonna see the strike. That's the biggest, that's, that's number two after all this time. Been out here for a couple of hours. Finally got something to hit. Skinny little rascal. But that's uh that's all we've been seeing out here. Can't get the big ones to come up and bite. So can't complain. Cause uh got a fish on, but it's been tough. I'm gonna have to leave Georgia in the summer alone. But it's hard to travel fall and spring. So, you gotta get down here whenever you can. Try to make the most of it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'll be back. Still trying to land a nice one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is Reverend Big John. Always remember to like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like, what you dislike. But most of all, I thank you for just hanging out with me for a couple of minutes. So do me a favor. <laughs> Always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. And I'll see you next time on the water. Welcome back, Reverend Big John's Backyard Fishing. We are back on Lake Lanier. I just found a new spot that I think I'll check out in the morning. Um, just a beautiful shot out here. Wanted to get that on uh, film. Of course, Lake Lanier is known for its striper and spotted bass. Can't really find nothing right now, but it's shallow enough where I could actually walk out there do a little wading and fishing. But uh, this might be a spot, so just wanted to check in with you real quick. This morning was not successful. We had those two little fish and that was it. So right now, Georgia's still been kicking my butt and I haven't pulled nothing big out of Georgia yet. But, 
Now that I found this spot, I will try. I'll come on out here. So, let's go ahead and head on back, get us something to eat. My sis here, but she says she don't want to be on my show yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I just turned around, y'all just saw it. <laughs> I'm going to fish one day. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling her when I go through the woods, I like to bless the trees. Blessing the trees by just doing this back and forth, you know, the cross. And the essence, what I'm doing is just getting rid of the spider webs that are in front of me. So, you know, y'all who fish, you understand. <laughs> if you don't do this, when you come out here early in the morning or in the evening, you're going to run into, <laughs> yeah, you're going to run into some webs. It's, it ain't. When it's not if it's when and they here so I did get me a little nibble over this area but nothing else has responded after that and uh, that's how it would be sometimes but I can see some fish coming here in the morning water temperature is about 80 degrees so it's, it's still hot so but I can see them coming to feed so we come back and Hit this again. In the meantime, always remember this Reverend Big John. Keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. I'll see you in the morning. We're going to explore some of this. I just threw that in there. <laughs> I told you I had a feeling about this spot. I know I was getting ready to leave, ladies and gentlemen, but. We have finally caught a nice little bass. Small, but bigger than everything else today. And a thicky. So yeah, we will be back here in the morning. Thank you, Mr. Fish. And if you right on there. and if you there, there's some more you here. Maybe that's who was nibbling on. <laughs> I don't know. But he was right in there in, in these trees, which is what I thought. That's why I was trying to hit him. Hey guys, you know what time it is. It's Reverend Big John. Always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless, and I'll see you next time on the water.